program governance is often thought of as rules to be followed. Taking an agile mindset, we can begin thinking of governance as a path to keep the project running in the right direction. We minimize documentation, put people first, put product first. Let's go over five steps to bring agile governance to a complex program, and we can begin with issue management. Traditionally, issues have been kept in logs, either directly in spreadsheets or in applications that look like spreadsheets. With the aim of becoming more agile, let's use the Kanban board. So in the Kanban board, there are columns for backlog issues, issues that are ready to start, issues in progress, and issues that are completed. The movement of issues is no longer entering in fields of dates, but it is directly grabbing an issue and moving it to a new status. Using the Agile approach and a Kanban board, we have a greater variety of reports that are available to us, including cumulative flow diagrams, which help us see the status of issues over time, control charts, average age charts, etc. This provides quick and easy analysis of the status of your issues and a way to determine if your issues are being addressed quickly. It is still very important to be able to look at the policies or procedures that might govern issue management. So you can look into the project settings and in your tool and determine what are the definitions of the priorities, what's a high, what's a medium, what's a low, the timeline to address different priority issues, the process to use when you need to escalate issues, and the process you take on a weekly basis to review those issues and to take action on them. This may be a document that you type directly into the tool, or very likely it's a document that you link to on your team room. This step is critical to proper governance to provide guidance to the team and your project managers and stakeholders. We've discussed issue management as part of the agile program governance process, where we've talked about increasing the focus on the work, decreasing documentation while still making that available when it's needed, increasing the ability to analyze our response to issues, making the task easier and more intuitive. I hope you'll watch the next four steps on separate videos. And if you have any questions or comments, please reach out to me.